good morning. I thought it would be helpful if I made a shorter video um, explaining everything just to use as my YouTube channel trailer. They've got a section for your trailer. I don't know. Here we go. The universe is not expanding. Why do I think this? Well, because of first principles cosmology. We go back to the original assumptions. Uh, the modern cosmological model, the Lambda CDM parameter set, they come from a, uh, an assumption that the universe is expanding. I disagree with that assumption. I think that the cosmological redshift is caused by gravitational redshift. That's the assumption I'm making. We begin with the Newtonian equation for gravitational acceleration. This is just this is before general relativity, you know. Of course we're dealing with general relativity, but I just want to lay the groundwork right now. So this is the gravitational acceleration equation. G is the gravitational acceleration. Uh, that's the lowercase g. The uppercase g is the gravitational constant, which is like 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11, something, something, something. Uh, and then the m is the mass of the object. We have a ball in this example, so it's the mass of the gray ball divided by the radius of the gray ball squared. Now, an interesting thing about this is that it goes by the inverse square law. So as you increase, so you, the r in this in this scenario, I don't have the negative sign, but I have the arrow pointing to the direction uh, of the center of the ball. And so this is the direction of the force is going towards the center of the ball. As you move away from the ball, it would be r squared plus, like there's you would add to it, so it'd be different. But it decreases the force decreases according to the inverse square law as you go away from the ball and it approaches zero so as r increases uh, you approach zero however that's only if the universe is empty that's if the ball is in it its own universe and there is nothing else in the universe affecting the metric but our metric has density so this is a way to sh uh, to show the same Newtonian equation using density instead of mass so mass converts to uh, rho four-thirds pi r cubed so we can add that in and that that simplifies to this uh, I, I, I just left the four-thirds in that that form so you would understand that the r's the r squared cancels out that r cubed and you're left with an r um, and so this is using density I mean and it's the same thing like you can we can use the uh, the density of earth something like 5500 kilograms per cubic meter and it's going to equal 9.8 meters per second so however if we go the other direction it doesn't decrease anymore this equation is different than the other Newtonian equation because there's a density in the metric the ball is not alone the ball is in a universe with other mass and so the gravitational acceleration is equal to the is proportional to the density four-thirds pi r so the gravitational acceleration increases as r increases and it approaches well it depends on the density this is the exterior solution to the Schwarzschild metric the Schwarzschild metric is basically the exact solution to Einstein field equations and general relativity. It is just describing the metric surrounding a symmetrical ball or sphere. Spherical symmetry. Um, you can see the Newtonian equation is present here. Uh, the GEM divided by R at least is. It's just showing you the gravitational potential. Uh, so we can change this mass to density and follow uh, we, we can do whatever we want with the density distribution and that is an important thing I work backwards from Hubble's law I assume that it's gravitational redshift I obtain the density distribution which equals a uniform gravitational acceleration the density is inversely proportional to R. 
that's the actual density distribution of our universe okay that's 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 if you work backwards from my assumption that it's that the cosmological redshift is gravitational redshift now if you do this and you apply it to the interior solution of the Schwarzschild matrix which is the example where the arrows go in the other direction we can get continuity the continuity goes from is at the Schwarzschild radius it, it will go back to the exterior solution this is my cosmological model this is what I think the universe should be modeled as all metrics reduce to the Schwarzschild metric you increase R far enough and it all reduces to the Schwarzschild metric this is the Schwarzschild metric all metrics reduce to the Schwarzschild metric so the FLRW reduces it doesn't matter even if the universe was expanding this would still this would still be the cosmic uh, cosmological model that or the cosmological metric that you would use on top of it but the universe is not expanding there's no reason because this as you increase away from the ball as R increases away from the ball the gravitational acceleration parameter that or the, this this proportionality constant that Newton came up with a long time ago but still works with general relativity this increases as you go away from it if the density is homogeneous if the density is inversely proportional to the radius G remains uniform and that's the way the actual distribution is now consequence of this is that the gravitational redshift is directly the amount of gravitational redshift in an observed light coming from a massive body like a star is directly proportional to the distance of light travel there are other things I've got other videos I wanted to make this one short it's seven minutes long I thank you so much for listening however these are the quick points of my cosmological model uh, please copy it and publish it if you can that would be amazing uh, I think that like you know I've not really tried too much in publishing I don't really want to I've considered it but I think that the the system is kind of messed up and they you know like I would have to in order to get something like this published I would have to go to a journal that nobody's heard of <laughs> but this is my opinion and I'm sticking to it I really think it should be considered I honestly do uh, let me leave you with my final equation so on the left side you have Hubble's law and on the right side you have the gravitational redshift equation with a uniform gravitational acceleration uh, thank you so much for listening if you didn't understand this maybe you could check out the other videos maybe that'll be helpful if it's longer but I wanted to make a, something really short for today have a great day